Hey everybody, Adam Kreth here at Dent Supply Serona Technology in South Texas. Good to see you. If you're watching this, then you're trying to set up DS Core in your office before the Connect Case Center goes away. I'm here to help you with that. I've done probably 300 trainings on this with offices, so I know the steps to get you up and running as quickly as possible. So let's get started. First things first is we need to check and see what kind of CAD CAM connector you're on or if you have one at all. I'd like you to take your cursor on your prime scan and go down by the clock in the lower right of Windows. You're going to see a little arrow pointing upward. Click that arrow. Inside there is a tiny little magnifying glass with a Dent Supply Serona logo in it. Click the logo. At the top, you're going to see which version you're on. I'm on version 2.1.1. It's important that we get this updated to the most recent connector. If you have 1.5.2, then I'm going to show you how to connect that. If you have the version I have, I'm going to show you how to connect that. So first step, let's open up our DS Core account. And I am assuming that you already have a DS Core account at this point. Inside DS Core, there's a little question mark in the upper right. Click there and go to DS Support. Step two, go to CAD CAM Solutions. Step three, for dental practices. Then I want you to scroll down a little bit to Software Download. The top selection up here is DS Core Connector. Select that. This is 2.2.0, the most recent version. Click there and go to Download. It's going to begin to download in the upper right. We'll let that finish and then we'll do the install. Okay, the download has completed. So let's go to the little file folder right here. You can see that this is a compressed folder. The first thing that you want to do is right click on there. Go to properties. Hit unblock and apply. Then OK. Now we need to extract this. Go to extract all. And click extract. It should open up automatically. We're going to double click to begin the installation. When the screen pops up, you just have to click next, click yes, and it's gonna take you through the entire process. It's important that you do the CAD CAM connector on any device that's gonna utilize DS Core that's uh, connecting to it. So if you have a prime scan, an Omnicam, you'll wanna do that. If you have a design station, you'll wanna connect there. Any computers that are just accessing DS Core for information, you don't have to connect or have the CAD CAM connector on those computers, just the ones that you're passing files back and forth so it can communicate with DS Core. We do come out with connectors pretty regularly. This can happen every two to three months. You can always download the most recent connector from the DS support site that I just showed you. Okay, it looks like our installation has completed. Go ahead and click quit. At this point, I recommend restarting your device. When it comes back online, let's go back down by the clock to the little arrow pointing up. Go back to the magnifying glass. Give it a second. It's gonna give you the option here to log in. Um, if you're already logged in, just like mine here, you should stay logged in or you can log in. It's gonna authorize your account and then you will be connected. You may begin to see some scans uploading. Uh, those might be from the previous day or that day's scans. At this point, let's go back to the browser, close out all these windows, and go back to DS Core. If we go back to our equipment tab here, down on the lower left, we can see all the devices that are online. If it shows that your device is not online, hit the refresh button in the browser, and it will show that your device is online. You've now connected your scanner, so you're good to go on that part. The next step is to set up the labs that we want to send to. In the upper right, go to your initials, or if you've uploaded a picture, it'll show there, and go to practice. In this section, we see our profile, various users. You can set up uh, accounts for people in your office if you want different logins, although the owner is going to have access to everything. And preferred labs. At this point, we need to start searching for the labs that we want to add. For example, search for Glidewell, and we can add the lab here. 
If you see a lab that says invite to DS Core, that means your lab does not have an account. Reach out to your lab. They can set up a free account as well and begin to receive your scans. Now let's go back. We can see all the labs that we have selected. The next step is storage. We can see how much space we have. If you have an access account that is free, it's going to hold your scans here for about 14 to 21 days, and then the scans will go away. If you need to re-upload those scans, you can go back to your Connect software or Cerex software, hit the drop down in the upper left, and go to DS Core Upload, which is located in the center of the screen. We also have subscriptions. It's going to have the different plans that you're on. We have light, standard, advanced, and the free access plan. You don't have to pay for DS Core if you don't want to. If you're on light, that's going to give you a terabyte of storage. That means your scans will save there indefinitely. Other plans that we have include other features like the ability that's coming up to design in the cloud if you're a Cerec doctor. And then there's going to be advanced features for implant restorations, bridges, or if you want to take a TRIO scanner and bring that scan directly into DS Core, you could then design in the cloud and send to a Prime Mill or Prime Mill Lite. Once again, though, you don't have to be on one of these plans. It's up to you. Payment methods, invoices, all these things that we don't have to worry about right now. So now it's time to start a scan. You're used to opening your software directly from the, uh, the desktop. We have our Connect software right here. We have our Cerex software. If you were to open that software, put in a patient, and do a scan, it will upload to DS Core once you hit the model phase. Those files are going to show up in files right here. That means that they are unassigned at this time. These files have to be assigned to a patient. So for example, let's select this scan right here and go to Assign Patient. At this point, we don't have any patients listed for that one, so we're going to go to Create New Patient and it shows us the information right there. We can go to that patient here, or we can go back to Home and Patients. If you've been using DS Core, or if you've had an account for a long time, but you weren't using it, you could have 300 files sitting here. And that's something that you might want to go organize. But this is the trick. I'm gonna ask that everybody watching this video do what I do here. I want you to start all of your scans from DS Core. Do not open the software from the desktop. Don't open Connect or Cerec. Bookmark DS Core on any computer in your office. Do it on all your computers. And when it's time to do a scan, go to New Patient. We're going to put in Jesse Masterson. Card ID, that is something that you can use from your practice management, or if you want to, you can just put in the date of birth again. I do recommend using the actual date of birth and not today's date, but that's entirely up to you. We're gonna add the patient. Now let's navigate to the patient. And you'll see here, we have the option to start a DI scan. I'm gonna hit start DI scan. And it's going to show us the devices that we have online. Let's say that we want to do this in the Cerex software. I'm going to go to Start Scan. And it's going to begin to launch the software in the background. What we are doing here is opening up a bridge between DS Core and the software. That means when you take a scan and you get to the model phase, it's going to automatically put that file back into Dusty Masterson's account. If you open it from the desktop, as I said before, that'll go to files, and then you have to assign that file. That's one extra thing that you have to keep up with. So if you can get into the habit of starting your scans from DS Core, it'll be a big benefit down the road. Okay, so now it's time to create an order for a patient. Let's find our patient. Select the patient. Go ahead and select the scan that you wanna use and go to order in the, on the right side of the screen. We have all the selections that you could want, final restoration, splints, models, anything that you'd like to send off. We also have a custom order. So let's say there's something that you don't see here and you wanna send your exact instructions to the lab, you can go to custom order. But let's start with a final restoration and go to continue at the bottom. Let's see, say that this is for tooth number four. It's going to be a crown. 
We would like for them to design and manufacture and mill that crown. It's going to be zirconia. We're going to use the Beta Classical and go to A2. We continue from there. We can see the scan that's going to go to the lab. One important thing here is the lab will really like this because they can do a DXD, STL, ExoCAD, PLY file, any option they can download and put into any software that they would like. We also have the ability to put in some comments. So if there's anything that we don't have in the software for you to select, you can put those specifics in the comments. We're gonna to go to continue. And let's say that this is going to Artisan 3D. And we would like to get this back in two weeks on the 7th. We can now go to place order and send that to the lab. Now let's say you're just preparing your orders and you wanna send it later on. We can exit out of here, go back to orders, and then over here on the right side of the screen, select these dots and go to edit or delete. In this case, I'm going to delete this order. It's really that simple, guys. That's all you have to do. We make sure that your connector is up to date. Either launch the scans from DS Core, which is what I recommend, or continue doing it as you do. Take them, open it up from connector Serac, take the scan, get to model phase, and you will see it'll populate that that scan is going to upload. At that point, that scan will show up in files and then you have to assign that to a patient. Now here we are back in the Serac software. We opened up Dusty Masterson a little bit. It launched here for us. Everything is ready to go. In this case though, let's go back to the start screen and find a previous patient. I'm going to take this scan right here and open it up. So let's say, for example, you have a scan that you want to send to DS Core, but your connector was not online at that time. You can open up the scan and resend it back to DS Core. Even with an access account that's free, let's say your scan has been in DS Core, but it's been deleted because you're on the free account, you can go back to here and send it back to DS Core. Let's go to our drop down. And we have DS Core upload here in the middle to send that scan back up to the cloud. That's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat on the YouTube channel or hit me up on Instagram. My name is Dental Tech Guy. Be happy to help you out. I think that once you get used to DS Core, you're going to enjoy it just as much as you did with the Connect Case Center. It's just a little change that takes some getting used to. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.